the, the ticket. And he said, uh, uh, is it this, like the judge says, is this correct? And my father said, you can ask the officer. He has the copy in his book, which we've already subpoenaed and have a copy of. And, uh, and, and then his sergeant had to come up. Yes, uh, we do know that the officer wrote a ticket that said driving 25 miles an hour in a 25 mile an hour zone. And that it was a regrettable mistake. Um, they, it was regrettable to the point that the, the uh, judge charged the officer for the time that was wasted coming to court. And he also pointed out that my father was doing his civic, my father was doing his job as a police officer defending the public, unlike the other officer who was doing his job looking at a young lady, you know, dressed very scantily in an automobile mm -hmm. and a hot car that he wanted to examine. Mm -hmm. So uh, he, he got read the riot act and had to basically he worked a lot of holiday a lot, a lot of his off days were work to pay the court cost of what happened. You know what I just realized? Like you had said, because I always slow down at the stop sign to stop. Yeah. Right. And then I started pulling out, and then I saw the guy, and then I stopped again because I'm yeah, like, was that? That gets you. So he thought he probably thought I didn't stop at all. I know what happened. Which I stopped twice. Well, I did the same thing. Oh, I mean, no. Okay. No, what happened was I didn't realize there's some streets you can't go down at certain times of the day. So I I started to make my right turn, and then all of a sudden I saw the thing, and I stopped, and the guys behind me are honking, wanting me to get out of the way, and I'm committed to right. So mm -hmm. I went right because I couldn't go forward anymore, and all of a sudden. Rrr, yeah, if I had just kept going, they'd have done nothing. But I stopped because I saw the sign Wait. on it, oh. which was not visible before. It's not visible until you stop to make, you know, you slow down to make your turn. Then you can see the sign says not to be, you know, no right turns allowed at certain at like seven to nine in the morning. So my guess is he didn't seem to slow down and stop the first time. He just no, thought, he didn't thought stop that you didn't stop and at you, all. You didn't stop at all. So ah. I mean you gotta give them a reason too. I mean they a lot of times they won't get you if you just continue to do the violation. <laughs> so but when you stop they know they got you because they know you they do know in a lot of cases either we're actually going completely through with it to begin with or you saw them. And when you see them and you did that they know they got you. No, I already stopped and then I oh, But I you saw them. So no, it's what happens. There's got to be a lot more of this. I'm assuming everybody out there, you know, it, it's, it, it's just, it, it's, first of all, it's not anything normal. This, they were doing this in the 1930s, folks. I mean, my father, my, my, my father would come home in the 40s, and, you know, after World War II, he went to the police department part-time, and he'd say, well, it was a tough day. I only filled out 11 yeah, tickets. Yeah, probably books. because he, he got me because I stopped in an intersection because I saw him. Yeah, that's a no-no right there. But, uh, you know, my father would also say, you know, he said, Bobby, he got shoot out because he only got half of his books filled out today. You know, and they, they don't have quotas. They just give you ticket books. We, we absolutely saw, we're going to tell you, we were at, um, at Costco the other day eating pizza, and we saw an officer going inside with a citation book. Mm -hmm. You know, he's got it with him because, you know, he's got to, you know, that's how many citations they're writing that they can't keep track of just exactly what they've been doing. I mean, they hate actually doing that because it's got an awful amount of book work. Mm -hmm. They also lose their days off because they have to go into court on their day off. It's a freebie, or used to be. My father, you know, would simply tell people, you know, he said, don't make me come to court because I don't want to lose my day off. And when they would lose their day off, the guy get another ticket from another officer. Are you serious? Yeah. Because, the, okay, every time you drive your automobile, you break a vehicle code law. It, Although, you know, one time I went to go fight it, and the guy, an officer was there, and he said, you know, he says, the guy that, and he knew, he says, the guy that wrote your ticket didn't give, because he had a speed trap. He says, the guy didn't show up because you were nice to him. Um, and he'd already written the ticket, but you were nice to him, so you said not to show up so you could get off your ticket. Yeah, they don't do that, folks. Of course, that was not recently. It was a speed, it was probably it was a illegal. A speed trap. It was, a, it was, they're not supposed to do speed traps. 
if the officer hides behind anything, it is unconstitutional. Well, it was, it was one of those things when you're coming down the hill, yeah. right? And what happened was, then they um, you naturally accelerate more as you go down the hill, and there was an officer pulled over with somebody, mm -hmm. and then there was another officer waiting, right? And so while I was there and he was giving me a ticket, I saw a couple more people pulled over. Yeah. So they were just waiting for people to come down the hill, and then they'd give them a ticket. Oh, yeah, they do just it all waiting. the time. I mean, they, in California, when you're coming back from Las Vegas, when they have that massive uh, decline, and everybody mm -hmm. goes too fast, I have a tendency to ride the brakes, which pisses people off. Because I know what's going on down the hill, because people... They're building up momentum going downhill, so that 70 miles an hour is all of a sudden 75. Right, and right unless you so. like turn on the brake, you have automatically accelerated because you're not yeah. consciously. Yeah, so yeah, I ride the brakes, which makes people angry, but I, I've been around long enough. I mean, I've got, I think, one, two, two tickets in my entire life. Well, some of the other things that they're giving tickets for here, you're going, what? Yeah. Is, um, People have gotten tickets, I know because friends have told me, is for not turning their wheels. Yeah. Oh. And you know, when you're going up on the incline or down incline. And you do realize that you can only park in a meter if it says two hours parking. You can only park there for two hours. If you park there for two and a half hours, you can be given a ticket. Um, Even you if also, you fed the meter. Yep. Also, I've had people that have parked somewhere while they were in a place. The valet came. And they hooded the, they the hooded meter. the meter and they towed their car away. Yeah, All right. Because by hooding the meter, well, they're no longer supposed to park there. Yeah, it doesn't make any difference that parking was legal when they parked there. Mm -hmm. It's uh, you know, it's just the whole bit is it, ignorance bad. of what's going on is no defense. And we've also seen like at the beach where they deactivate the meters because people oh, there's a lot of people that think. The meter's not working, you can still park there. Mm -mm. No. They deliberately deactivate meters so they can give tickets to people because uh, uh, they, they, you know, they'll, you'll see them waiting off in the corner. People will pump the thing, you know, putting money in. That's why I'll only put like the lowest denominator coin into a meter first to see if the meter actually works. Because a lot of times you, you just said do not park. Yeah, well, on the fine print says don't park at a meter that's not functioning. Mm -hmm because it's a crime also. So, like I said, you can't go, um, uh, you can break the laws in parking lots, you can break the, the laws, uh, you can break the laws first of all in your own property. Uh, if you, you can illegally park your cars in front of your house, on your own property, which is a good one. Because they said cars are, so their cars are really not supposed to be parked in the driveway, they're supposed to be parked in the garage because there's supposed to be X amount of room between your car and the sidewalk. Yeah. If your car is X close to the sidewalk, you're in violation of certain statutes. Mm -hmm. You also cannot, if you convert mm -hmm. your car, your garage into a room, that's also a no-no, because your car, you're supposed to have a garage connected well, you know, to your house. Here, here's the challenging part is, is there are all these laws that you don't know that they can sit there and give you a ticket on. They can even give you a ticket for, um, well, actually, because you talked about wearing a bikini, yep. right? Uh, you can get tickets for improper attire, uh, improper hiking attire in a city or state park. You can get, oh, really? Yeah, if you're wearing your shorts, if you're wearing hiking shorts and a tank top, they can give you an improper attire. You can get tickets for wearing clothes, even though you think it's right, because remember the guys that wear the, the pants and then you see their underwear and their pants are falling down? That's illegal in some communities. Mm -hmm. uh, women can get tickets uh, for having too much rear end showing. Women can get tickets for having too much chest showing. Guys can get tickets for being bare chested. This is where that like prima facie law that you think only applies to traffic Mm -hmm. It also kind of works with the other. And generally, and, you know, they also say ignorance is not an excuse you know, for breaking the Most of the time, these laws are ignored. Mm -hmm. Most, almost all the time, they're ignored, and they're all beatable if you go to court. Mm -hmm. But it costs you more money to go to court to beat the the, the citation than it costs you to to pay the citation, which is how they know they get you. What happens is, is that um, mm -hmm. uh, okay, it's like. California has a traffic light problem. Basically, they, they camera the traffic lights. They found out that 
the traffic they were losing, you know, basically they're only working like 25. Okay, here's one example. I'm standing, where I'm at an intersection, I'm on a sidewalk, motorcycle officer is next to me, and he says, smile, we're on camera, and the camera flies, going, blink, blink, where it's parked. Then, you know, the light is red, and they're taking everybody's pictures. And, and you know, they, you know, he said, smile, we're on camera, and he said, you know, I'm going to have to explain how I ran this light. Mm -hmm. And he's parked, you know, he's parked, I mean, totally parked on the side next to me, and they're taking the pictures of everybody, parked. Because they don't work, but they but because the thing they send out citations to people and they say we're parked mm -hmm. <coughs> because the cameras don't work, you know. So there's basically a big battle on that. But it's just the economy sucks. States and cities and counties have to find. I mean, there are places. Uh, my brother used mm -hmm. to get a ticket. I mean, my brother would come from Los Angeles up through. Um, you know, actually come up through uh, uh, Kalinga, and Kalinga was an ungodly speed trap. Well, you know, part of it is avoiding the places where the police are going to be. Yeah. Usually, I don't expect them in my neighborhood. Yeah, but I've seen them sitting here, though. I've seen them, I've seen them down the street seen them right there. waiting to give tickets for people doing the rolling stop in front of this building. Mm -hmm. And everybody does it. They, I mean, I saw half a dozen Rolls Royce yesterday run the stop sign. Mm -hmm. They ran it. I mean, just the, the first one did a rolling stop, and the five after we just went right through the stop sign. So, but um, it's remember, you, you can't do anything right during a depression. It's impossible. Mm -hmm. So, you, you know, and if you're overly careful, I mean, why did I, you know, I have a problem because I, I actually obey the laws. Well, see, here's, here's the other side of it. According to the prima facie law, if the speed limit, let's say the speed limit is 55 and you're going 55, the flow of traffic is 70, yeah. according to prima facie law, you can get a ticket. If, if, the, if you're in the car lane and the car lane says 65 and everybody around you is passing you because they're doing 90, mm -hmm. you're the one that they give the ticket to for causing a flow of traffic to stop. Mm -hmm. So, isn't that a good one? Oh. So, you can't win, folks. So, I have a feeling we're going to be talking more about tickets. Yeah, well, it's because it just, you know, like I said, the officers are given a crappy job of having to enforce things that they don't want to enforce. Their job, okay, it says to protect and serve. You know, and Who are they? First of all, protecting and serving. You know, okay, but, there was nobody else. No, but they're Who not. are they protecting and serving? In situations like this, they become uh, they they become a money machine for the city. Mm -hmm. They are if you give them a choice of going out and stopping somebody from being hurt or giving a ticket, they'd rather go stop the people from being hurt because most police officers are really hardworking. Yeah, that's true. They are. do not. They you know why a police officer grumps is because they got to give tickets to people that are not appreciative of getting tickets. Well, he, you know, talk about a thankless job. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? Okay, for example, here's here's the the, the job everybody loves. Like, we'll say for example, the UPS man, you always deliver, right? You bring the packages, usually the presents. Thankless job is having to give people tickets because yeah. how many people are really happy when you stop to give them a ticket? Oh, they aren't. I'm a, I don't you think know, any. So I, they're really not because mm -hmm. under the new laws too, they can basically. You know, do you know, a police officer, if he thinks there's something really wrong, he can go through your bloody car on you too now. You know, take everything, dump it out on the side. Of the, I, you know, I had that happen That's to me, which didn't please you me. Did? Oh, yeah, they had like, in my van. You know, I've got the van packed full of stuff, and they, I took everything out of the thing uh. to prove I wasn't doing anything wrong, and then they leave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then they leave. All the stuff is sitting there. And you have to put it all back in because you have to prove you weren't doing anything wrong. That's what our Supreme Court has done. They've given officers the right, you know, they've given, you know, basically officers also don't like to, uh, they don't like domestic disturbances. They hate it. My father totally hated it. So now we'll be talking about future, how to get out of a ticket. <laughs> There's no way. Uh, 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 Union 76 is running a thing. I think they have, actually have an app that have basically... I'm taking my pregnant wife to the hospital. Oh, you know what? I saw that. I thought it was yeah. kind of funny. You know, you know, I was I was adjusting my mini skirt. It's a guy, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's basically but none of them work. They don't work. 
I mean, being a really attractive woman helps, but it doesn't help. In, in, a, in, a, in a down economy, there's nothing you can do because they can't, they're, they are the money-making I have a feeling like they're insulated, like they've heard all the excuses, and so your excuse is not going to be, it's just one more excuse. The only excuse you have is you get your driver's license out and it's got a federal, uh, a federal identification on it. Mm -hmm. And you say, they would not like this. And then, I need uh, one of those. Okay. I, I actually I know somebody that's got one of those. But you know what? I've been really lucky that, you know, I haven't had any for a really long time. Yeah. So, but, I know, I actually I remember the last time she had to go to funny school. Did you? You had to go to the, the traffic school. What was it for? Tinted windows, I think. Uh, yeah, sorry, <laughs> but you went to traffic school. So. I, I went to traffic school for tinted windows. Yeah, well, because she... Because you're not supposed to have tinted windows on the driver side and I the know. passenger side. Only the back. Only the back, so but uh, so she may end up in a traffic school getting a lesson again because they teach you the evils. Let's put it this way. Daddy tells her she doesn't, she has to stop doing that, and she pays no attention to Daddy. No, I did stop on that, and I just restopped when I saw the police officer. Uh, so you probably thought I never stopped in the first place. This is a problem. Some some blonde-haired guy tells her continually, "Don't do that." Don't go with me to court. Well, I'm not going to go to court. I don't go to courts. I hate courts. See? I don't go. I said, so, I, so, so I, you I, kind I, of I, go to court and play the dumb blonde part. Yeah, well, no, because if they see the bikinis are, then they could possibly. Don't play the dumb blonde as an Asian. You know, if you were a blonde, you might actually the ignorance of the law is not juice. You're gonna That's get, true, it isn't. You're gonna you're gonna you get stuck with it. You did you know, don't do the crime if you can't do the time. Oh gosh. But you know, it's my neighborhood, so I slow down naturally to stop and then I just restop is the problem. That's the problem. You That's get too problem. confident. It just means you you you've got too cool, you know, to going the same thing every time. You should I'm going to give you a safety tip, folks. Change, Change the way you come and go from your home at least once a month. Oh, because otherwise you're sleeping while you're driving. You get a pattern. You're trying to car go. Yeah. You get too complacent, and when you get complacent, you, what happened to her happens. So I guess you'll hear more because she's going to grow up about it. She'll come on and tell you when she... They're going to tell her in two weeks what it's going to cost. I know. I already have an idea. Yeah, so until next time, this is old Cam. It depends on how many more taxes they put on because it's L.A. Yeah. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And for more information, you can always go to www.montybubbles.net on the net. And wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. And thank you. <laughs>